Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform horizontal scaling in AWS. Don't get intimidated with this complex diagram. I am going to make things simpler for you. So let's start with a very basic EC2 instance on which your application is deployed. And this application is used by few customers. This architecture will work nicely for you when the number of customers are very low. But as the number of users increases, then a single EC2 machine cannot handle all of the load. So what we need to do is we need to add more servers to handle the load from your customer. How can we do that? We don't want to do this manually because it is cumbersome and it is prone to error. We want a dynamic way to create and terminate the EC2 instances depending on the load on your machine. That's where auto scaling group comes into picture. Using the auto scaling group, we can create or terminate EC2 instances depending on certain criteria. One criteria can be the CPU utilization on your machines. But for creating this machine, you need to specify few configuration things like what is the instance type, what is the operating system that you want on your machine, what are the security groups that need that needs to be configured. So you need all of this configuration to be saved somewhere. So that's where you need a template, a launch template. So in this launch template, we can save all of the required configuration and using this launch template, auto scaling group can create new EC2 instances. Once these instances are created, you will also need a application load balancer to distribute the load across these multiple EC2 instances. So this is a very common architecture used in web application. So I will repeat, with the combination of auto scaling group and the launch template, you can dynamically scale your infrastructure. So let's quickly do a hands-on of these services to get a better understanding and to actually see how this works. In the hands-on, we are going to first create a launch template. So log into your AWS console. In the search bar, type EC2 and go to the EC2 service. On the left hand section, on the left hand section, you will see something called as a launch template. Click on launch template and you will see a create launch template button. Let's click on this button and I have already filled all of the details required for creating a launch template. For creating the template, you will have to give it a name, a version description. Then you will have to specify the operating system that you want to run on your EC2 machine. So I will go to the quick start tab and select Amazon Linux as the operating system. Then we will have to select the instance type. I will select T2 Micro which is under the free tier eligibility. And since we will need to log into this EC2 machine, you will definitely pro need to provide a EC2 key pair. Then we will create a security group and allow all traffic to be accessible to this EC2 instance. For allowing all traffic, you will have to add a inbound security rule and specify all traffic and source type is anywhere. This will ensure that you can access the EC2 machine from any port and from anywhere. So we will not change the storage settings and this is good enough for us and let's create the launch template. Once the launch template is done, 
वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ ऑटो स्केलिंग ग्रुप और क्रिएटिंग द ऑटो स्केलिंग ग्रुप अगेन वी गो बैक टू दिस मेन्यू सेक्शन एंड स्क्रोल डाउन एंड गो टू द ऑटो स्केलिंग ग्रुप सेक्शन लेट्स क्रिएट अ ऑटो स्केलिंग ग्रुप वी विल गिव इट अ नेम टेस्ट ए एस जी द लॉन्च टेम्पलेट दैट वी जस्ट क्रिएटेड वी विल यूज द टेम्पलेट एंड क्लिक ऑन द नेक्स्ट बटन द डिफॉल्ट वर्जन इज द फर्स्ट वर्जन दैट वी क्रिएटेड वी विल यूज दैट फॉर क्रिएटिंग द ऑटो स्केलिंग ग्रुप वी विल यूज द डिफॉल्ट बी पी सी एंड वी विल यूज ऑल ऑफ द अवेलेबिलिटी जोन आई विल सिलेक्ट ऑल द अवेलेबिलिटी जोन एंड सबनेट फ्रॉम यूर इंस्टेंस टाइप वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्पेसिफाइड टी टू माइक्रो देन वी डोंट नीड अ लोड बैलेंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लैब सो वी विल स्कीप दैट पार्ट वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू टू हेल्थ चेक्स and let's do the desired capacity will be one which means that i want to create one ec2 instance when this auto scaling group is created maximum capacity i will give two scaling policies i will give none as of now and let's do next let's do next next and let's just create this auto scaling group so this auto scaling group now will automatically create a ec2 instance for you so if i click on this auto scaling group then there is this activity tab and i really like this tab because it gives you a very detailed information as to what is happening So it is saying that launching a new EC2 instance because there is a difference between the desired and actual capacity. So increasing the capacity from zero to one. So we gave the initial capacity or the desired capacity as one, and but when the auto scaling group got created, the actual capacity was zero. So it found a difference and it launched a new EC2 instance. it will take a minute or so for the instance to come in so the next thing that we will do is we will ssh into that ec2 instance we are going to put some load on that instance and we will ensure that a new instance is created and for that to happen we will need to configure some policies we need to specify the criteria on which auto scaling should happen so we will go to the automatic scaling tab under the dynamic scaling policies i will create a dynamic scaling policy and i will select the matrix type as average cpu utilization and i will change this value to let's say let's keep it 50 so what it means is that when the cpu utilization goes beyond 50 then a new ec2 instance will be created instance warm up time i will just say 60 seconds and i will create this dynamic scaling policy okay. so now we will go into our ec2 instance and we will try to put some load on this ec2 instance so let's click on the menu tab let's go to instances we will see one instance running which was created by our auto scaling group we will select this and let's use the connect button to connect to this ec2 instance i will use the ec2 instance connect and let's say connect so for putting stress on our ec2 machine there is a command linux command call as stress so for running that command we will first install that command on our ec2 machine and then we will trigger that command to increase the cpu utilization of our machine the installation command is sudo yum install stress minus y 
So let's run this command and it has installed the stress command. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to simulate that multiple users are actually connecting to our EC2 instance and that's how the CPU utilization is getting increased. So we don't have real customers, so we are just trying to simulate that. So we will say this minus minus CPU is 2. So this command slowly keeps adding little bit, adding work onto the machine and slowly the CPU utilization of your machine is going to increase. For checking the CPU, so we will let this command run and to check the CPU utilization, we will go to our previous tab. We will click cancel here, go back to our EC2 machine and let's select this. And if you go to the monitoring tab, let's expand this a little bit. In the monitoring tab, we will see different graphs. The graph that we are interested in is the CPU utilization. So, and the trigger that we have set is if the CPU utilization increases more than 50%, then create a new instance. So let's expand this section or this chart CPU utilization. So it will take a little bit of time for the CPU usage to increase. It might take five or so minutes or more than that for the CPU utilization to increase. So we will wait for some time, let the, in, the CPU utilization increase and then we will go back and check whether our automatic scaling group actually created a new instance or not. We have waited for more than 10 minutes now and if you see this graph, it has increased from the CPU utilization has increased from 4% 10 to 23 percent and it has gone beyond it has reached like 98 percent but this is definitely breached our 50 percent threshold that we have set so let's go to our auto scaling group i will go to a previous tab go to auto scaling group select the auto scaling group that we created and go to the activity tab This is our auto scaling group. Let's click on this. And let's go to the activity. If you see here, this was the first instance that got created and then it will, it is a new row over here stating that launching a new instance. And if you read this details, a monitor alarm was triggered and changing the desired capacity from 1 to 2. An instance was started in response to a difference between the desired and actual capacity and increasing the capacity from 1 to 2. So this alarm is the alarm for the CPU utilization. So since the CPU utilization breached the 50% threshold that we have set, that's why a new instance was automatically created by the auto scaling group. So currently this instance is in warm up state, warm up state, we will give it some time and then the instance will be in the fulling running state. So let's go to the instance tab and let's verify whether we see two instances or not. So we have these two instances running. So this basically completes our exercise. What we should do now is we should stop this command which was running by pressing Ctrl C and we should go back and delete the auto scaling group. Don't try to manually stop the EC2 instances because if you do that then automatic scaling group will automatically create new instances. So don't go and manually stop this EC2 instances. Better way is you go into your auto scaling group and delete that ASG. Once you delete it, it will automatically terminate the instances. So that's all for today guys. If you like this video, then definitely like the video on the YouTube section and also subscribe if you have not subscribed till now. I will be creating more such videos on different real world IT problems
थैंक यू